Hi, it's Zena at Warthog Princess. Welcome, welcome back. This is a lug haul. This is my order that I placed on January 25th. It arrived yesterday, which, which really is March 15th, because I'm dressed a day early. But um, it did arrive finally. This was from luglife.com. They were backed up just like the Lug Live. But anyways, it did arrive um, finally. In the top of the box, when I opened it up, it had this surprise. Well, yeah, it was a surprise. I got my stuff. Uh, I'm not going to make light of the shipping issues, okay? That has been a big, big problem. It has definitely decreased my desire to order stuff. But they have stated, once again, that they are fixing the problems. And I hope that's true. I did order a few things from Lug Live this week. I ordered some of the new hats and the new pouches. But anyways, we'll see that whenever it comes. Which could be soon, it could be not soon. All right, but what did I get? The first thing I got is the Carousel XL2 in multi-dot navy. So I brought this um, up to share, obviously, but then I also grabbed one of the previous Carousel XLs to compare the differences when we're done going through this. Hi, Kelly. Kelly's ready. It's it's raining outside, so she's out of sorts. Also, I've been um, packing because we're going to go to my aunt's. So she doesn't like it. She thinks she's being left. You're not, though. It's okay. I know, but I don't want you to lick my face. Okay, get off. Go lay down. Good girl. Okay, so the Carousel XL. This is a great size bag. I'll say nice medium handbag. It can be shoulder, crossbody. You honestly could even do it as like a belt bag if you wanted. I think it's kind of big for that, but you totally can. <clears throat> First thing is the multi-dot navy. I really like this. It's kind of a simple yet colorful. It's got quilting on the front, no quilting on the back. So you do see the dots better on the back than you do on the front. It has the cursive lug inlaid, um, gunmetal gray there. It has a charm bar, which is one of the new things for the XL2. It has a zipper pocket on the front, up and around, and inside this pocket you have a big soft lined pocket, so maybe sunglasses or phone if you want. <coughs> Excuse me. It has a clear ID window, and then below that it has two more card slots. So clear ID, two more card slots. This pocket is RFID as well, and inside you have the Love Stripe Multi. If you're not familiar, it's um, basically called Love Stripe because it spells out love and Morse code with the stripes there. Anyway, it did come with a card, Live, Laugh, Lug. So I'll put that with my cards. Let me put this back in for now. There we go. Okay, so that's it for that pocket. Let me see, does that have anything else? No. This pocket does have a bit of gusset, so it's about a finger width thick. You can put some things in there. You can put a wallet in there depending on what wallet you're using. On the back, you also have a zipper pocket. It goes all the way across. It doesn't have any organization or anything in it. It's just a nice big full width zipper pocket. You have the removable adjustable strap loops there. You have the cell phone pocket on the front. And between this front pocket and the cell phone pocket, you have another zipper pocket actually behind there and it is a straight pocket. Once again, no organization or pin slots or anything. It's just a nice pocket. It is kind of flat. It does have a little bit of space to it, but it's not much more than a finger if that. So this is a bigger one. It has its own space and then the main compartment. So if you put something bulky in there, it's gonna push into the main compartment for sure. Um, so the main compartment is a single um, opening, it is also a single zipper, not a double zipper. It has the removable adjustable crossbody shoulder strap. You have two elastic cargo pockets on the back. You have a key bungee attached to the side. It is elastic with a clip. And then you have the clear view pocket on the back. Or in this case, it's the front actually. Um, but the bag itself has a, a bit of depth, so it will hold quite a lot of stuff. Very good bag for an everyday purse or whatever. And there you have it. So that's the XL. So what's the difference between the XL2 and the XL? 
shown here. Yeah, this one hasn't been used either yet. <laughs> this one is in Stars and Shells Navy, obviously. So the first big difference that jumps right out at you is it has this little faux buckle on the front that is non-functional. I mean, you could clip things to it, but it's just a loop there, a D-ring, and instead of the charm bar. So that's the first difference. It has the foam pocket, it has the straight pocket, it has the zipper around the front with the same configuration inside. It has the zipper pocket on the back and it has the same interior configuration. So really, the only difference is charm bar and buckle right there. So there you go. Carousel XL and Carousel XL too. The next item I got, which is another, all these are new items really. I got the medium trolley or the trolley medium in brushed conquered. Of course, purple is my favorite color, so yay, purple conquered. Um, it does have all this, you know, telltale signs of a trolley, but it's a medium size. So what does that mean? It means it's in between the mini and the regular. So it gives you a fourth size because you have the mini, the regular, the XL, and now the medium. So there you go. So. In case you're wondering, like I was, where does that fit? I brought out these. Uh, this is my Paws Navy. I have all three sizes in that, so we'll compare those in a moment. But let's look at the trolley medium in Brush Concord. So you have, of course, two side pockets. There's the interior pattern. It says little purple flowers. Classic Concord interior both sides same you have this pocket and this is the front you know that because it has lug on it and you got the double zippers opening this pocket inside it is plastic lined and it does have a clear plastic divider so very similar to other trolleys it has nice gussets draw bridges out it's very nice okay so i'm gonna put those off one side and then it has the top handle, of course. On the back, you have another double zipper pocket. Now, this doesn't have a trolley sleeve on it like some of the others. It doesn't have that, uh, which we'll, sh we'll see on the bigger one. Um, but this back pocket is basically the same configuration. You have a bigger slip and a smaller slip, elastic mesh pockets. No gussets on this one, it just opens up. But it is also double zipper. So the last section is the main compartment right here on the top. You've got double zipper opening, opens up. You have the mesh zipper pocket on the top of the bag. Inside you have, well, you have some foam for shipping. Plastic lined interior compartment, entirely plastic lined. There's another privacy pocket on the back wall there inside the bag. Inside that pocket is not plastic lined, but the the main compartment is very wipeable, obviously, and just really pretty. So basically, it is the same as all the other trolleys, with the exception of no trolley sleeve on there. But I don't think you need that for this size. I think this size is like perfect for the puddle jumper backpack that I have in the seam, so it'll match perfectly, things like that. Um, yeah, so I think it's great. All right, let's compare to the others. We've got all three sizes in the same pattern. All right, so we've got in size order. Let me put them all facing the same way. Facing, facing, facing. Okay, so we've got the mini compared to the medium. So looking at them, here's the difference in size. So it's a good three, fingers in this direction it's probably about two-thirds the size overall compared to the, the medium so the mini and the medium and the mini does not have that back pocket or trolley sleeve at all but otherwise the basically the same configuration so we'll put that aside the medium compared to the regular it is I think once again roughly two-thirds the size this one looks a little closer in these two dimensions the height and width but when you look at the length it is definitely again two-thirds of the size so total capacity maybe a little more than two-thirds but definitely compatible comparable 
This regular trolley has that trolley sleeve section where that back pocket is, is on the back side of that trolley sleeve. So you have that there. When you're storing them, I don't know about the medium one yet, but up till now anyways, they fit, they nest inside of each other very nicely as you see. Now the medium compared to the XL, that is a much bigger difference here. Yeah, the XL is quite a bit larger, definitely. And the XL, just like the regular, does have that trolley sleeve portion. So there you go. You will put them all inside each other for storage. So there you go. When you, when you put them together, they do kind of bulk out a little bit. But will this fit in there? Probably. I'm not even going to put it in there, though, because it's a different color. It's going to get stored by itself. All right, so trolley medium in brushed concord, yay purple. Okay, and the last item I got, is really only a three item haul. I just brought some other things out for comparison's sake. Um, this is the Dolly Short in Paws Black. So what is the Dolly? The dolly is basically an unstructured or minimally structured um, storage pouch of sorts. So. It's a rectangular cube with the top handle, which I like a lot, and it has double zippers to open it. It does have a zipper pocket on the top. It's clear plastic, and then inside is fully lined in clear plastic as well. Here you can see the interior, same as the Paws Navy, really. You have the hearts and the dog bones and the lug somewhere in there. Yeah, it says lug some places, like right here in cursive on the pattern. But okay, so it's it's a good size. It's not huge. There is a regular size dolly that's roughly twice the height, but the same basic um, dimensions otherwise. But they're they're not really structured. They will hold their shape once you kind of stand it up and and unsmush it. But it holds just fine when you put stuff in it. I kind of like that it's unstructured. Because if I'm going to use this, I probably will use it inside a backpack or a travel bag. And I want it to kind of be able to squish down into the bag and, and you know, whatever. Um, I like that it has a top handle as well. The Lug logo is a rubber thing sewn right onto the top of the handle rather than on the bag. That's an interesting thing. It does have plastic coating on the bottom. So you can lay it on your counter or travel or whatever. Um, but it's a pretty simple piece, really. You can use it as a lunch bag, a snack pack. You can um, put pens and pencils in there. You know, maybe you need a whole bunch of them for your journaling or whatever, your, your planners. Um, you can use it as a craft pouch. You can do so many things. What I plan to use it for is either one of two things. I will put my dog stuff in here. Well, Kelly has her entire set of Paws Navy. She has all three trolleys. She has um, the... What does she have? She has a bunch of stuff. Now I say she has. One of them has her pet meds. One of them has all her like nail files and trimmers and clippers and brushes when we travel. Um, one has like her little outfits. Not that she has a lot of outfits. She has two t-shirt things and two, she has three jackets, funny enough. One's in the trailer. But you know, things like that. She has doggy shoes in case it snows or because we live in Arizona, the, the ground is very, very hot. If we want to go walking, sometimes she has to wear shoes. So just, she has bags for everything and it's all very organized for her. And I know it's hers because the boss. Um, I also have a Huggy Chuggy in the Paws Navy, which of course I love. And we take that to the dog park pretty regularly. Anyways, I'm digressing. But this one, the other way I plan to use it besides doggy stuff, because it is Paws Black versus Paws Navy. So it is hers, but not hers kind of a thing. Um, I think this is a perfect size for travel meds. For example, maybe you're gonna go on a trip and you have like vitamins and stuff you take like me, so I would put the bottles in there standing up, or you can put multiple weeks of day, night um, pill um, containers in there. They would fit, I know we have other things for those. Um, but but the, put the bottles in so you can have some Tylenol or Motrin or whatever. You can have some different things in there and have all the bottles standing up and then you just close it and there you go, they're all together. So that is one way I would likely use it. There you go. And that is the end of this lug haul. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great St. Patrick's Day 
and a wonderful spring. Bye for now.